All right, well, we're up here in the wild of Canada. I've got my two very good friends here with me from Weston Equipment. We have Mike and we have Jason. And Mike shot a really nice black bear here just a couple of days ago. And Weston has a really nice portable grinder, just runs on 110 volts. And this thing is a little beast. I mean, this is a grinding machine. Take it anywhere you want. Comes with a stuffing horn, three different grinder plates for doing various type of products. And this thing is a little machine. It's really nice, lightweight. So we were able to just put it right in the vehicle, bring it right up with us, and then you have your grinder right there in the field when you need it. Great product, guys. What we're going to do here is we're going to actually grind this product three different ways. We're going to start out with the small grinder plate, and then we're going to switch over to the larger plate. Then we're going to go the whole way up to this large bolt plate. We're going to go ahead, convert our grinder over into a stuffer, and then we'll begin stuffing this product into our casings. So for this particular application, we're going to need to use the plunger to push it down in there, get it down on the auger and push it out. Now we're not putting any undue pressure on the grinder because there's no plate in there and there's no knife in there, so the machine's not really working that hard to auger it out through. And now it's just real easy pressure. Just keep one finger on the base and your thumb on the top, and we'll turn the grinder on here. We'll just go ahead and stuff this out. Mike, if you want to help me here, that would be great. Go ahead and we can just feed that right down in here. And if you have a helper, that makes it even better. All right, there we go. Now, it's just real important just to try to keep nice, even tension. You don't want to put too much meat into your casing and pop it. So, but you want to get enough in there to get it full. You don't want any air pockets in it, of course. And there's a nice rope. 